everybody, Ben White here. Welcome to Tactical Fellowship. The purpose of today's video is to show you how to do a spec op chop to your Flux Raider. Before we get to that though, how about you go ahead and stick your thumb up YouTube's anti-gun loving hole by liking and subscribing and go ahead and give me a follow on Twitter X. So what exactly is a spec op chop? For most of us, the first time we saw this is when we watched Grand Thumb's video on his Flux Raider when he briefly mentioned that certain special forces guys were deleting the riser off the back of their Flux for certain mission needs. Basically what they're doing is they're cutting off the optic riser on the back of the Flux Raider so that it ends up looking like this. Before I show you how to do this though, let's discuss a reason or two why you'd want to do it in the first place. Ah, oh, my bullet. No worries, Flux Raider! My first reason for doing this is because it's freaking awesome. I liked my Flux Raider when it looked like that, but I love my Flux Raider like this. At the end of the day though, I know that's just an opinion. Other than it being svelte and super low, I can think of a handful of other reasons why you'd want to give this thing a spec op chop. First reason is this, is that you can take any slide off of any P320 that you own, you can drop it into this chassis like this with the modification and you can immediately start rocking and rolling with it and that's pretty darn cool. You don't need to remove your RMR and then put it up here and then re-zero the RMR because now it's up there and you need to re-zero it. You have kept your RMR on your slide, no re-zeroing necessary. I shoot this so much better. Matter of fact, you actually have ended up saving some money because you don't need to buy in an additional RMR or optic to put on the back riser that would probably end up living on the chassis should you decide on the Flux Raider. And a final reason I can think off the top of my head is if you're like me and you've put suppressor height sights on your slide for some sort of aiming redundancy, you don't need to uninstall those suppressor height sights to install standard height irons compatible with the riser clearance needed to get this thing to work from Flux. So with my slide as I would have it would actually be quite a bit of work and unless you had a sight pusher and you really want to do that work, it might be actually easier just to chop this off and go to town with it like that. Okay, so let's get into doing the spec op chop and I think it's pretty easy, but let's just get into it. We're gonna start with removing the slide, the FCU, and then this back plate thing that just slides up and off. Okay, then I, I put a pencil line on both sides I use the line of the triangles here for my guide. Don't want to go any lower than that because the brace release channel goes right through that area and you want to keep the brace. Next, I used a Dremel tool and you could probably use a hacksaw if you wanted to, but I just happened to get a Dremel tool for Christmas. And so of course now I'm a gunsmith. I use this here cutoff wheel. You can see it's old and gnarly. It is just the thing that I had laying around. I used that RPM and then I started the cut from right to left. If you don't start the cut from right to left, then the wheel might pull you forward and into an accident like you can see right here. Then I cut off the back cap keepers. You don't need those. And at this point, you are almost done. Two taco bit. This is the best way to rock a Flux Raider, hands down. You can see the edges here are pretty sharp, so let's go ahead and sand them down using a medium grit drum at about this RPM. You're gonna wanna go ahead and bevel these edges. I went ahead and sanded the top down nice and smooth.
and there you go, you are good to go. My final thoughts on this project are, you might be thinking that with the riser gone, the gun's gonna be sitting too low, and you're gonna have a hard time getting the sight picture that you want. I kinda found this to be a non-issue. All you need to do is practice with it a bit, Just put it higher in the pocket, guys. Boom. And you're there, no big deal. And after a few dozen reps, I think you'd be like, yeah, this works. I actually find that I shoot this thing a little bit better. The height over bore is a lot less extreme. The only thing I would say that's a drawback to this is that I ended up using a charging plate on the back of this because the RMR had been removed for the riser version of the Flux Raider. And I got used to using the racking plate to make this thing go. When I'm not doing stuff like that, I slingshot. Yes. The issue that I now have is that with this cut down, it still really um, covers most of the slide. I can still slingshot by grabbing the optic. I really don't like grabbing the optic though. I just, my gut says over time that it's gonna uh, put more strain on these little screws that I want and it will end up affecting the zero of the dot. So really the only thing that's not ideal is, is, uh, is charging the gun. But I guess if I just don't let it go dry, I'm not gonna have that problem. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope this is giving you the confidence to start your own spec op job. I guarantee you're gonna like it. Okay, that's cool. That is actually a lot of fun. That's a stupid amount of fun. If not, man, that's not my fault. That's your fault. As always guys, ride fast, shoot straight, get off the couch and onto some tactical fellowship and we will see you next time. You did it, you survived another how-to video. You're not sure about this one because it's kind of wild and the guy's kind of weird. But even if that's true, there's some delicious merch up there. I mean, you can't eat it, but you can wear it and sit from it. So check it out.